Go live in a room. Okay, we're figuring this out, Instagram. Don't give up on me. I got people messaging me. Okay, we're reading, we're reading. Oh, Tina said she'll be back in a little bit. LT, if you're there, request to join. If you're there, if you're not, it's okay. We're getting requests, but none of it is from Latoya. What's Latoya's name on Instagram? Yo, is LT in the comment section? I don't know who you are, Smalls, 92. You ain't. Okay, I sent requests. So the, the requests are sent on my end. Instagram. You gotta hang loose on this, okay? So it's not, the ball is not in my court anymore. It's in somebody else's court. It's in a different court right now. I'll try to answer some questions. What do you wish worked? Uh, what do you wish you worked with in the house that you didn't have a chance to? Who? Who do I wish I worked with? Mm, I wish I was working with Brayden a little bit earlier in the game. Uh, because Bray's a smart guy. And obviously he made it deep in the game, and I love that man. So it would have been Bray. That's right. Bray for sure. Uh, what did I spend my money on? I spent my money on a website. Check it out. Keep it real. .ca. The graphic designs for the merch. Investing back in myself. Going to be investing in my community, my people. I love it. That's what I spent my money on. I also bought a new Xbox and an engagement ring. I'm getting married. My hoodies are unisex. Yes, they are. Tank tops are going to come. This is just the first drop of merch. I didn't want to like oversaturate everybody with a bunch of different uh, uh, different products, but we have our second line that's going to be coming out for the summer, uh, maybe in a month or two. Uh, different designs, different styles, different products. Uh, so we're going to keep it fresh uh, in the merch store because if you're looking a little odd, we got you covered. We got you covered. Okay. Okay. Buffalo Bob, excited for the tank tops. Yes, my guy. We need to start working out so we can kick ourselves in the head. That's what I'm saying. Thank you for the congratulations. Yes. Uh, Lisa, Renee, I don't honestly know my language as well as I, I would want to. So teaching it, I'm not comfortable. But I can talk about the importance of speaking your language and striving to speak your language. Uh, everybody wants to know how much money I got. I got 10 G's from Canada. And I put it to good use. I put it to good use. I'm trying to catch Ty. Uh, yeah, the website is going to be up forever. I don't know why that you can't buy from the States. That's, that's news to me. Uh, which set wants to book me for the youth? Yes, you, there's a contact uh, information on the website, keepitreal.ca. So if you head on over there, uh, you can check that out. 
What's my favorite thing about my community and my people? It's probably the laughter and the love that you get wherever you go. Uh, that's got to be 100% everything it is. Everywhere I go, uh, I'm joking with everybody. It, it feels like home now, wherever I go. Uh, do I regret getting rid of Josh so soon? Yeah, I, I regret getting rid of Josh. Are you kidding me? Josh would have been great for my game. I didn't, it didn't really show in the cut, but I fought for Josh to stay in that house. But we were new in the game. We were trying to hide votes and go everywhere. And that just wasn't – that wasn't smart gameplay. Like, that was just terrible, terrible gameplay on my part. Uh, Tina. I hope I got it figured out. Here, let me try again. I'll bring you back. So, I think I got to invite. Uh, I think I got to invite you guys. I'm inviting LT again. Oh, see, it only lets me invite one person at a time. Why, though? It doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense, Tuna. Tuna. <sighs> That's so disappointing. Yo, if LT wants to do the live, get her to set it up. I don't know where she, I don't even think she's here anymore. Uh, what was the slop made of? Disgusting ingredients that made you fart. That's what it was made out of. A lot of, uh, uh, what's it called? Oatmeal and protein powder, maybe. Matcha, maybe. Flax seeds, maybe. This orange goop. I know the orange goop was in there uh, for sure. For sure. Uh, what product am I using in my hair? I don't know. Whatever shampoo. It's in a blue bottle. And that's just how it is. So if anybody wants to uh, to check it out. Oh, Josh is in the comments. Hey, Josh. How you doing? I just don't get why I can only invite one person. How do I go live in a room? You see a camera icon with a plus sign on it. Tap it. I'll show you when there's a go live in a room. Yeah, I see the plus sign, but there's no room option. Go live in a room. See, it only lets me send one invite at a time. Would you return to BB Can if given the opportunity? Yes, a million percent I would. I would definitely return to BB Can. I got un You know what I'm saying? That's my son. He, he's wilding out. What's going on over there, bro? I have no idea why. This is happening to me. <laughs> Tina. <laughs> it's so good to see you. I don't know I, what's going on, man. You can't get it. I can't do it. It will only let me invite one person. Yeah, it's not hard. I know. I see it all. Well, I'll hang uh, for a few minutes, and then I got to run anyway. Yeah. One guest can only be in my live video at a time. There you go. Oh. Maybe I should just, like, turn off my phone and restart it the <laughs> website is up uh keep it real dot ca canada. hey everyone <laughs> big brother canada big brother canada yeah get to that website folks and get your uh keep it real merch i mean it looks phenomenal love it tina's straight hair is everything true <laughs> I don't know, man. He's a, he, Kiefer's asking me to bring the curls to the wedding next year. So Just one day out of the year. Perfect. No sweat. I can do that. Okay, now LT's back. 
Okay, teens. I'm going to have to say bye. I'm going to invite LT. I love right. you. Sounds and good. we'll FaceTime with Sherry in just a bit, okay? All right. Sounds good. Talk to you later, bud. Have a good one. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Yo, I'm such a boomer. It hurts my face. My face literally hurts. Like, my face is hurting. Yo, is this LT? Yes. I'm in no. my pajamas. Uh, I'm in bed. Sorry. What time is it? I it's didn't like think six. I would have to go. I thought all three of us would be on together. LT, I can't figure out how to do it. I literally can't figure it. It says only one person can join the live. I'm literally losing oh my, my mind. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, Tina. I thought all three of us was going to be on together. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. No, she had to go anyways. She, was, oh, she had uh, to go? She had to go, Newfoundland. She had to go do, like, Newfoundlander things. Oh, I wanted to talk to her. I know. I mean, whatever. I'll message I her later. I can't figure it out. It says only, <laughs> says only one guest can be in your live video. How There's four people. Do? There's usually four people allowed. That's crazy. I know, but I can only see I can only see one. I did update. Oh, you did update. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, we'll have to we'll have to link up with Tina again in the future. Well, anyway, yes. Tina, I love you. Sending you love, and I'll message you later because I gotta send you some stuff, anyways. So, yeah. So let's talk about. Okay, I can't stay on here very long either. Um, I'm having a day nap. Yes. Nobody right. in these comments judge me. I'm having a day nap. Yes, I've been working hard all day, and I have a podcast to do later, so I'm taking a quick nap before I get myself together. But, Keith, let's talk about your website, your merch. I'm hitting, I'm hitting the ground running. Trying to, there was a lot of people profiting off of my name and my sayings and everything, so we had to, we had to get it going, you know? And I'm just a kid from the res trying to do big things, also taking bookings. Uh, to speak with youth, to speak with different communities about the importance uh, of being proud of yourself because if there's one thing that I am, it's proud to be Indigenous. It's proud to be who I am. Uh, so we're just we're just hitting the ground running like that, LT. You know how it is. And yes. we, gotta, we gotta talk about the uh, all website aside, head on over there, keep it real, dot ca. Um, but we gotta get the Actor Suntap yes. podcast going soon. I know. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we gotta talk about that. We gotta get something going. Um, Cause we know Jed's game. Ty will pop in whenever he could. Yeah, yeah. he'll pop in. T He's listen, in. Ty is living his best life right now. So let him live. Let him live. Let Come him on. live. Let him enjoy and bask in this in his glory right now, as he deserves to. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Fox. you sent me. Fox. You sent me some of your sample pictures for your merch, and I'm super excited. I can't wait. Yo, it is going to be, oh, I'm just excited to have, to ha it's so crazy for me to look at, like, my own website with merch, you know, just a kid from the res, like, uh, the, the Sunset logo. Uh, I, that's, that's, yo, your logos, your logos are so nice. It's so, um, what's the word? It's different. It's unique. And that's what mm -hmm. I love about it. It's not something that you would, you would see regularly in you know, a store or anything like that. So that's what makes it so special. I'm so excited to get your stuff and rock it. You guys yeah, better we... support. Make sure you guys support. Support your boy, Keith. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, I know it's, it's coming. I'm, I'm so excited to have it. We got the, and it's got like in the Sunset logo, it's got the shooting star under the eye. Like, uh, it's got so much meaning. It was done by a, a great artist, uh, Jay Bellis. I'll be taking him in the picture as soon as I post it after this with the link to the store uh, because he also did the design for the sweater that br I gave Brayden, uh, the killer whale sweater. Uh, so okay, I wanted, okay. I, I wanted to keep it in there. So, yeah. Um, nice. It's all good. And I see nice. people. Yeah. And you just got engaged. Oh, yeah. Big news, right? You're pulling up, though, right? Hi, Yo, I'm right? there. <laughs> you got a year. We just set a date today. Oh, what's the date? Can you say that? Can you say the date? Can I say the date. No, I can't say the date. You can't say the Okay, so wait. Just let okay, tell me. Is it next year? You. Is it is it it's next it's, year? It's next year. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is I'm it hoping, summer? Is it summer, winter, fall? It's summer. I only want to celebrate in the summer. 
Okay, 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 okay. I only want to celebrate in the summer. I'm I'm born no. December twenty first, so I do enough celebrating in Christmas. I don't need any more. That's okay, why we, we actually plan to have my son in June. So, yeah. You're sorry. What you're planning to have your son in June? No, that's my son was born in June, and that was okay, always okay. like our plan. So I I want okay, to okay. celebrate more in the summer, but we got to space it out. Okay, so. I'm there. And I want to, okay, so remember when we were in the house and you said that you were going to get your, uh, you were going to get ordained? Mm-hmm. Get on that, okay? So that, you can, okay. so that you can, so that you can marry me. Okay. Okay. Because okay. I definitely want you to be the person who is at the altar, Yo, you know, okay. doing, the, doing the thing. <laughs> I'm going to cry. I would, of course, you know, I, of course. I be, I, Listen, of course I, yeah, of course. I when are you not crying? I, <laughs> you know what? I took like three days off, and then like I was driving today, and I was just like, life is good. Like I can't believe where I'm at right now. And it's like the single stoic tear rolling down. I was like, damn, I broke my streak. Oh, that's, <laughs> but you know what though? It's like tears of joy, right? It's happy that's, tears, so it's all yeah. good. But no, Keith, like I'm serious. Like, all right, I'm, I'm in. Get your happy. certificate. I've been. I've been I got a lot of things happening right now. A lot of irons in the fire. Let's like, get it tomorrow because, hey, I, you know. Hmm. Oh, oh, snap. <laughs> no. That's dope, though. <laughs> What's the we'll birthday talk. more I'll special than you. I could imagine? All right, all right, all right. Let's not, yeah, reveal, yeah, yeah. Let's not reveal too much stuff. I'm not I'm not saving the, uh, the live episodes. But, yeah, no, I appreciate yeah. the support, LT. It's been nothing but love from so many people. It's just, uh, yeah. it's honestly wild. Yeah, I'm happy for you, and I'm happy that you're you're doing your thing and you're you're branding yourself and you're providing for your family. I love it. I love it. So continue doing your thing. You know, you have my 100 percent support. I will be purchasing all the merch. I will be hey. rocking. I will be supporting. You know. Yeah, yeah June, keep it real. June. You order now, June 21st is Indigenous People's Day. You rock it on that day, June 21st. Yes. yes. You guys hear that in the comments? Yeah, oh, June 21st. Yes. Drop, a, drop a brown Aboriginal heart if you're going to be supporting. Yo, that would be dope. <laughs> I want to see those brown hearts. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, yeah, it's pretty overwhelming. The order is just... Oh, they're coming in right now. It's dope. Okay, Stacy, Jed's mom wants to know where we're gonna be staying when we come to visit. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's for the wedding or for Heidi Gwai, we got lots of different options. But uh, I don't want to, I don't want to say anything too too bad. But there's some places on the beach that I'll be renting out for the BB Cab fam and some special people that uh, will be living it up. Hot tubs, right out on the beach. Life will be okay. good. Yes, big beds, okay. Big, beds, big kitchen tables for big dinners. Yes. But Keith, are you seeing those brown hearts though? Yeah, I am seeing those okay. brown hearts. That's okay. nice. I got goosebumps. goosebumps yes, goosebumps, I love it. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, I can't, honestly, like, if they lift all the restrictions and we could have, like, an unlimited amount of people at the wedding, like, this thing might be nuts. <laughs> oh, my God. It's going to be, like, it's going to be televised. What do you mean? Yeah, honestly, I think that uh, we might live stream it. <laughs> right? Because <laughs> there's going to be people that just can't. Because Heidi Gwai is tough to get to. It's a, it's a commitment. Um, but, like, I think if you guys come, you got to stay for uh, at the very minimum a week. Oh, because, yeah, for sure. For sure. Because it's... Oh, it's yeah. So, like, I've been, so talking to, I've been talking to Stacey, and, like, we all want to come out. Like, me, me, Stacey, Jed, Telvin, Ty, like, yeah, we're there. Yeah. Uh, that would be an event. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. I would love that. That would yeah. be even before the wedding. Like whenever we can make oh, that happen. Yeah, when, whenever we can make that happen, we need to make it happen for sure. Yeah, a hundred percent. Like oh yeah, we gotta make that happen. Heidi Gwai yeah. would love it. I know I know they would. Yo, in my parade, I seen people writing like all of our names on the cars and stuff. Like, I was like, man, that's love. So it was all like a bunch of the core four and stuff. That was pretty high. Yeah, it was pretty wild. Yeah, life is wild. That's so good. I'm so happy for you. Oh, yeah. what's that saying? 
Gotta do a little. Okay. All right, Kifa. I gotta go, but text me, message me. Will do. Listen, send the bill to Ty because you know. that's what I'm doing. I'm telling Ty. I, okay. He's supposed to share and do all this stuff, but he's in Dubai. I'm gonna let that man live his life and enjoy. I keep all texting right. him. I'm, I'm being like, I'm gonna catch you. I'm gonna catch you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Hustling. So yeah. Yeah. We, we I try. love it. Okay, and tell Jericho I said hi to. Okay, babe. Lt says hi. She says hi. Aww. <laughs> okay, we well, got some things for you. We'll be sending it off. All right. Peace out. All right. Okay. We'll catch you bye. We'll talk. I'll text you. Yes, text me. Okay. Bye. Right, bye. Uh, let me get out of here. <laughs> Yo, LT is the realest person I've ever, one of the realest person people I've ever met in my entire life. Okay, okay. This is like dope. Thank you for all the congratulations. Um, yeah, life life is honestly good. Susie, Susie, come here, come here. You guys want to see my dog? Come here. Don't scream. Don't scream, Susie. Oh, you're so fat. Just sleep. <laughs> this is Susan. You guys say hi. Chris, you're too big to hold in your shedding. Well, that's an interesting guy, Susan. Mama T, good to see you in the chat. Yeah, we got to get you, Tal. Jed, all got to come to Hi to Gwai. Susie wants to see you guys on Hi to Gwai. Don't you, Susie? Susie, you want to see everybody on Hi to Gwai? Hi to Gwai till I die. That's right, Susie. Yes. Yes, Susan. Head on over to the website. Hey. Yo, Susan's got some crooked ass eyes. Oh, she sees a fly. She freaking out. Look at her. Oh, she's so cute, though. She's thick, thick. Look at my thick baby. Holy. She loves to be held like this. It's all good. It is all good. Get a Big Brother slow pitch team together for Riverboat days? Uh, I think I'm done with slow pitch. Golf forever now for me. Have I been cooking? Yes, I have. Made some barbecue chicken last night. Made a nice spaghetti sauce the other day. We are we are doing it thing. Am I doing any YouTubes? Not anytime soon, honestly. Um, I know you're supposed to strike while the iron's hot, but... I really got to focus on where I want my energy to be put and what, like, the fruits of my labors, where is that the fruit's going to be most fruitful? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I just have to do. Yeah. Susie just staring at this fly. Do I think uh, acting experience helps to get cast on BB Can? I mean, being yourself helps. That's what helps. Acting like somebody else doesn't really necessarily help. If they can see your authentic you from whatever they get you to do to apply, then that's what's going to help you the most. If they can believe you. So if you can be yourself and, and they take a liking to that, I think that's the best advice I could give, uh, give anybody. You know? So that's all there is to that. Yeah, authenticity. That's what it is. You got to be authentic. You're authentic you. It's easy just loving it right now. Will I ever come to visit New Brunswick? Yo, why not? Book me in on the contact tab. Let's make it happen. Am I ready for all stars? Y'all know there'd be a target on my back as soon as I walked into that house. How do you say son in the Haida language? You say uh, son is juye. That's how you say son. Juye.
Uh, did I listen to any of the daily live feed updates from Taryn Armstrong throughout the season? No, I didn't. But my girl kept me informed. Kinda. I didn't really need to hear that stuff. You know, I came fourth place. I did what I had to do in that house. Ju Ye, yeah. Ju Ye setters. Ah. Any advice for peeping people wanting to apply? Just be yourself. Be you. You got. If there's quirkiness. Embrace that. That's that's the best. That's the best advice. Yeah, Taryn Hater. Ah, it's all good. Everybody hates. Hate me or love me. It's still an obsession, right? I came fourth place. Life is good. When am I going live with Roe? Probably never. <laughs> do I watch BBUS? Yes, I do watch BBUS. That's actually when I, I first started watching BBUS. Uh, obviously, because it started uh, before. Taryn isn't a hater. Okay, much love to Taryn. I don't hate him. My love for him stays the exact same from both of your statements saying he's a hater and he's not. <laughs> How many times did I apply? Very first time applying. Are uh, you and Ro on okay terms? Sure, we're on, me and Ro are on great terms. What kind of terms does it need to be? Susan is not, Susan is loving life right now. What's my fave BBUS player? That's a good question. Hmm. Yo, part of me just loves Cliff. <laughs> when he do his like little money symbol up in the air. Yeah, he came for a place too. Uh, I like, uh, who else did I like? Devon. Love Devon. Enzo. Enzo was my guy. Fan favorite is the real winner. Mom, my bank account don't look like the winner. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. Oh, Rachel was good? Do I have a best friend from the house? I got a bunch, honestly, like Ty, Tina, LT, uh, Jed. Those are those are all those are all dope ones. How would I do on Big Brother UK? No HOH in public vote. I would win. You kidding me? UK people would love me. Would you uh, BB Can and BB US together? Yeah, of course I would. I mean, we're all humans at the end of the day. Our differences are are a made-up border. Sometimes different views on the world, but that's here in Canada, too. Everybody's got different views on the world. Yeah. You getting a Neuralink chip when it comes out? I don't know what that is. But if I get Wi-Fi with it, why not? The best, coolest people I played with. I mean, they were all, everybody. It was a lit season. Like, everybody had their own reasons for being who they were and what they did. Like just because I didn't get along with some people doesn't mean I don't respect them. Big Brother is a pressure cooker and everybody cracked under the pressure. Not one person didn't. Shout out to Fort St. James. Shout out Fort St. James. What's good? So yeah, we're here to promote the website, keepareal.ca. How the order's coming to get in any? Wow, that's what the day's about. If there wasn't all stars, who would you like to see from the other seasons? I mean, there's so many people that I would love to see. I would love to see a bunch from season eight. I would love to see like Hira, Jamar, come on now, Maddie. Uh, I would love to see uh, Erica. Um, yo, I'd love to see Kayla, uh, Derek. That would be hilarious. Uh, who else? I would love to see me, Adam, maybe Poutine Poppy. Yeah, whoever. So many people could, could pull up. <laughs> I think it would be dope. I mean, Aika would be great, but that would have been in third season. There's so many people you could bring back because you could have season five Six, seven, eight, and nine. That's what I'm saying. No, you're not bringing back no winners. Dane's got his money. <laughs> Best thing about being Haida, being part of a community, being part of a legit support system where people got you back all the time. 
Now, I got to disclose, I've only seen season five, six, seven, eight, and of course mine because I lived it. So anybody before then, I'm not 100% too familiar with. Yeah, I don't know who that is. <laughs> I need to get, yeah, I, I think I said Adam Pike. Adam will be a beast. I would feel a lot better if, like, Adam walked through the doors. If I was an all-star, I'd be like, okay, maybe I'm not the biggest target. Maybe it's Adam. I heard season three is a must-watch. I got to see three, four, and two. And I did watch a bit of one. So, okay, I can't lie. I watched one. Fave competition, crossword? No. Nah. <laughs> no, nah, Sam. That was not my favorite competition. Uh, the gameplay was lackluster. Okay, then. How The gameplay is uncomparable because you can only compare it to the season that it is in. So how we well, can compare it to other seasons, but that's different people in a different set of rules. We started off with teams. No teams have ever been on Big Brother. It changed the whole strategy from trying to get rid of somebody strong to getting rid of somebody weak. Like, that's gameplay. Get out of here. I had the best gameplay and Tashawn. I mean, obviously, Tashawn did. Tashawn's a GOAT. Oh, it was messy. Don't get me wrong. The gameplay was hella messy. I survived the back door. They tried to back door me. And I didn't get back doored. Like, that's wild. No season is better than season nine. That's right. Well, I don't know. It's all it's all in the eye of the beholder. I mean, yeah, I had good gameplay. I, I, I really came into stride after I won my very first HOH. And from then on out, like the only time I really took time off was when Jed won HOH, and we've seen how that went. <laughs> yeah, it was a it was one it was a great great uh great flip. Thank you for voting for me. Yeah, it was a great season. Come on now. I should go down as one of the greats. That's not for me to say. I mean, you've seen how confident I was on the show. You already know what I think <laughs> if you watched it. Season two, five, and nine. I love season five. That had to have been one of my favorite seasons ever. Like, seriously. That was, man, that was good. But to win season five, probably the biggest accomplishment ever to win season five. Tell me it ain't. Kiva, were you throwing comps after the double? No, I just didn't win anything. I sucked. Everybody keeps saying that. Oh, Keith's throwing. He's throwing. No, I don't have it in me to throw. All right, Susan, you're getting too heavy. Say bye to Susan, everybody. She good. Uh, thank you, Slade. I appreciate that. Yeah, Kevin is the man. You know, he did what he had to do to win. Uh, and he won that. Uh, Adam's season was great. Season seven, the season of the Pretty Boys. They uh, they dominated. How many tattoos do I have? I have five tattoos. Man, it's so strange how I could only invite one person. <laughs> Holy bro! Love the hat. Yeah, all my teams just happen to be from Toronto. You know, maybe someday when things are looking good. I'll be in Toronto a lot, hopefully. Any idea how long this live will be? It's going to be a while. We're sticking around. We're chilling. We're vibing. We're just hanging out, answering questions, promoting the website, keepitreal.ca. See, that's a missile launching if you guys can't see. Huh? <laughs> uh, do I answer fan DMs? I try to answer some, but a lot of them I just, you know. <laughs> some tried to add me on Fortnite. Bought a tea, thank you. You need to do a live room or update uh, Instagram app. I updated the app and the live room. I tried, but it will only let me send one invite out. Yeah, it only gives me the option to 
to do that. So we're not, we're just, we're just going to, it's just going to be me. Like that's just how it has to be. I might be restricted for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. I play Fortnite. Fork knife. I'm kind of a sweat. No big deal, right? Have I ever watched the challenge? No, but everybody keeps recommending me to watch the challenge. Uh, some of my homies are big challenge fans, and I wanna, I wanna check it out. Thank you. Uh, but how have you been handling local fans' approach for photos? I love it. I love when people come up to me and ask me questions. Look, I, I've received so much support. I'm not going to to turn it away. So when people come and approach me in the grocery store or wherever it might be, uh, I'm with it. I'm with it. They, they went on that journey with me, especially if they're fans, they know what we've been through. I'm down to, I'm down to do that. Would I go on amazing race? Mm, yeah, of course I would, but would I be good? I don't know. Running is not my thing. I don't run. Uh, I just started playing arena on Fortnite, So I got like 500. I don't have much, but I usually get the champions league. So I can play in those tourneys. Yes, that's right. Check. Uh, I love Survivor. Survivors, aside from Big Brother, that's my number one. I want to be Jeff so bad. I would be a great Jeff. Yo, bro, you good? My son's wilding out. <laughs> but I absolutely love Survivor. Uh, yeah, I seen that Ethan thing. Uh, that's crazy. I probably would have evicted Ethan too. I don't know. Who knows? Your birthday's on Canada Day? Then yes. Visit Canada. Why not? Did I just call my son bro? Yes, because he's my bro too. Hey, son? <laughs> Make a hoodie. I don't run. Yeah, they're coming. Uh, this is just my first line. I don't want to oversaturate everybody and, and do what I have to do. Um, and maybe I will stream on Twitch. Maybe tonight. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Gord Downey's a real one. Tragically hit forever. Forever. Uh... Happy birthday, Alicia. Happy birthday. Hope your day is very special. Ever take a poo and go, mm, yum, yum. <laughs> nah. Why did you read that? <laughs> did Big Brother call you the Mullen Man? No, they call me Kiefer. Or they call me Keith. And no, I, I don't know. If, yeah. The mullet is going to get cut someday because you got to keep them guessing. Go on Twitch with Taryn. Uh, okay. Ooh, favorite hip song. Probably fully completely. Would you put braids? Uh, yeah, I get, I get uh, my girl, she braids my hair. Like if it's a really hot day or something, or if like I'm playing sports, like if I'm playing basketball. Um, never cut the mullet. I know, I know I should never cut the mullet but you know what like change change is inevitable the only thing that will never change is change itself and there's wealth with change there's growth with change so it's gonna get cut someday but when i don't know it'll grow back the mullet will grow back it's gonna be a staple oh yeah okay yeah the uh on the episodes i guess he called me the mullet man do you feel like people don't give Brayden enough credit on his game? I feel like Bray was playing Ty a little too. Uh, Bray was definitely playing Ty a little too. Uh, Bray played a great game. Uh, after I was getting backdoored, I gave Bray every ounce of information I had in the game for him to go as deep as he could. Because I knew he was going to team up with Ty. And I knew that they were going to work it together. Um, and I was there for it. I got nothing but respect, uh, respect for Bray. Mullets are going to come back. They've been coming back, okay? So uh, I hope they do because I, I just I love mine. I don't know. I even, Yo, you think this is long now? I got a bunch cut off by my barber. Like a bunch cut off by the barber. But that's just how it's got to be sometimes, you know? 
Was anyone fake on BB? Or are y'all keeping tight? Now we're not all keeping it tight. Uh, there's people I don't talk to. There's people that don't talk to me. But that's that's life. I got nothing but respect for everybody who walked into that house and, and put themselves out there. So, no, we're not keeping it tight. Are we keeping it respectful? Maybe. I hope so. I'm not out here trying to trash nobody. I mean, I said some loose-lipped things when I came out of the house because I was still fresh and I didn't understand the the strength and the power in my voice. Like, I got mad respect for all of them and everything that we went through. So that's all it is. Clip that. Uh, the people that I talk to out of the house, it's a lot easier to answer than the people I do. I'm, I'm still keeping it tight with LT, with Jed, with Ty, with Tina, with uh, Spicy V, uh, with Josh. That's about it. And Brayden. Ever been to PEI? No. Uh, actually, I've been keeping it tight with Beth, too. So y'all settle down. Um... Yes, thank you for cheering for me and voting for me. Uh, are you and Ro going to do a lot together? I doubt it. I, I extended the olive branch. I thought it would be fun to do, but I don't think Ro wants to do that, and it's all good. It's all love. I'm doing my own things now. Uh, life is good. Actually, life is better than it's ever been. Spicy was the best liar in all of BB Can history. Yes, Spicy was. She was the best player. Hands down. Do I have to say it from a rooftop? She, like that's why she had to go. She was the best. Well, I'll, I'll say it till I'm blue. You visit Ontario, Ottawa. I've been to Ottawa, and I would love to come back. Will you go on Rob has a podcast to talk about your BB experience? No, you know, like what's left to talk about. You know, like, there's nothing much, there's not just much left to talk about. I'm, I'm, it is what it is. The BB experience was what it was. I loved it, and I would do it again. But these podcasts and everything, dissecting gameplays and whatever, it is what it is. Brittany, congrats on your graduation. Thank you very much. What's my handicap in golf? I'm a low 20 right now. I'm not very good at golf. I never claim to be good at golf. Not like I claim to be good at Big Brother. <laughs> I'm terrible at golf. But I like I shoot in the in the high 90s. Uh, my best round was 92, and we got a pretty tough course here too. It's probably the toughest course in Northern BC. So, uh, would you travel Canada? Yeah, I'm planning on traveling Canada. I'm planning on going. All the way across. I want to go to PEI. I want to go from Haida Gwaii to PEI. Boom, boom. If there's a possibility for All-Stars, would you join? If they ask me to, how could I say no? The only time I ever won an All-Star was in volleyball. When I was captain of my volleyball team uh, in like 2006. So, yeah, to be called an All-Star, that, uh, that would be pretty special. Love the Pooh Jays. Yeah. Let's hope they can bounce back, you know? I want to check out all reserves. I want to I wanna meet everybody from across Canada. Advice on how to get through the interview process. Just got to get through it. That's all there is to it. How did the plan come up to get the... To use the veto on Beth? I thought of it at like 4 in the morning right after the Expedia competition. And the rest is history. The trap door was born. Yeah, much love to Beth. Uh, most entertaining season in years. I keep hearing that. We got mad respect from all the other Big Brother Canada uh, alum. And that's, that's that. Uh, aside from all the fans, all of, uh, all of you guys, like getting respect from former players, like having talks with guys like Kevin Martin, Poutine Poppy, Adam Pike, uh, with Kayla, with Cassandra. Like it has just been not only overwhelming, but it's been, it's just been all love and it's been blessed. It's a pretty cool family to be a part of. How is Jed doing? Jed is doing great. Why well, I got to answer that. Jed's doing great. He's one of the most handsome men on the planet. He's doing just fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what happened with me and Tara? She evicted me. Cost me $100,000. Nothing happened. 
She's fine. She's living her life. I'm living mine. Hey, from Prince George. Do I talk with the host still? No, Arissa. I don't know. No, I don't talk with Arissa. I'd like to. Say what's up. Have I spoken to Beth? Yeah, I've messaged back and forth with Beth. Um, it's all love, like I said. Spicy V was talented for sure. Who would win in an arm wrestle? Me or Josh? Get out of here with that comment. Me. I'm not losing to Josh. Josh is strong, though. He's, he's definitely strong. Do not underestimate that man. So, Natasha, do you know her? I might, I might know uh, Natasha. Um, yeah, I have no idea. Mm, hello from La Calzap. Hello, La Calzap. Uh, what's my plan to do with my money? The money is spent already. Engagement ring, uh, the website, the uh, graphic designs for the merch. I invested it all in myself and I'm betting on myself from here on out. So that's what I'm doing uh, doing with the merch or with the money. I put it all back into myself. I've created my own business. I'm the sole proprietor of Keep It Real. Uh, I trademark Keep It Real, just the kid from the Reds. So that's what it is. Hey, get one silk in the building as well. Keeper versus Jensen in arm wrestle. Uh, left hand, I might give him a run. Right hand, not so much. I'm left-handed. Am I upset with Tara? I'm not upset with nobody. My life, my life is blessed. My life is beautiful. I don't have time for hate right now. I don't have time to be upset. I only want to fill my time with love. So that's all it is. And that's how I'm going to continue to move forward. That's how I've always been. If I personally said to somebody that uh, part of my language here, but if I don't fuck with you, I just don't fuck with you ever again. So I hope that can answer that and I don't have room for hate. I just, I channel my energy to where I want it to be channeled to. And I've always been like that. So that's just how it is. You're left-handed too, uh, Don? Yeah, me, I'm left-handed, you know. Uh, Jericho is a queen, yes. Yes. Carson, yeah, my guy. Yeah, I know you're a fan. And leave Bobby alone. Am I still cool with Vic? Yeah, of course I'm cool with Vic. That's Spicy V. She's a legend. Hopefully, if I don't get invited to All-Stars, hopefully Spice does. And she goes back and does her thing. A couple left-handed people in here. We very special. Special, special. Uh, yeah, I'm going to look into the USA thing. Wait, so we, have orders from the we have orders from the U.S. So if you if you try, try again. And we can make it happen. Yo, it's getting windy outside. Holy. Uh, Taryn tried to say this cast had bad gameplay on the cast provided one of the best seasons. I mean, it's all, it's all relative. Bad gameplay, good gameplay, bad move, good move, whatever. There's 14 people who went into a house who never played the game before and we had to learn as we went. And that's what we did. Bad gameplay. What do you mean bad gameplay? I survived the back door and then we got a trap door and then Ty won the game going undefeated in the last comps that he played bad gameplay. Bad gameplay? Huh? Did I take the noise cancellation off of my earbuds? Have I watched the season back? No, I got to the double eviction. Yeah. I got to the double eviction and I uh, I, I stopped, uh, stopped watching because I knew what was coming. And I ain't ready for it. So the thing is, like, people think I didn't know, like, about the sauce. Like, the 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 the, the three. I knew about it. What are you kidding me? I didn't know. I called them the big three. And apparently the rest of the house called them the power trio. 
So it's like, yo, uh, I knew. I just didn't call them the sauce. That they had a different name that I thought of. And I stuck loyal to them because we were the Sunsetters. And, and I would rather be the four. I always knew I was the four. There was never a thought in my mind that I wasn't the four in that alliance. Um, it's when I started realizing that I was the seven, obviously, when I almost got back doored. That's when, you know, I thought things were a little bit, uh, and I wanted, like, honestly, like, yo, I took a lot of heat for this, but I wanted to self a Vic, because you get in that house and, like, everything, it's your everything, it's your every day. And literally, like, a part of you is, like, hurting so bad, you just can't grasp it or understand it, especially being backdoored by your own alliance. I was done. I quit rehearsing my days. Every day I would rehearse my days. I quit everything. I was just like, okay, I'm gone. And then you know what? <laughs> like, I was, I was in the DR. I was ready to quit. And I was like, okay, I'm going to give this one more shot. And I went and gave the pitch of my life. If this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I'm not going to squander this. And I'm going to fight tooth and nail to stay. And that's what I did. I stayed here. Right, son? Yeah, my son was upset. Who I got to block? I don't got to block nobody. Don't want to hate, let him hate. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised the Tara Stan isn't in here right now. I love watching her comments and uh, all the lives that we've done. She just, you know, always putting like Tara is queen, like all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's hilarious. Yes, but then I bounced back. Yeah, it was to look back at is it, it's uh it's wow, honestly. Would Jericho try out for BB Can? I've asked her. Uh, what do you say? She says no. He's gonna look after the kids. Yeah, <laughs> me. <laughs> Not the terrorist dad. Yo, you guys think I, I don't like a good a good troll? There we go. Can we get some Tara is queen in the comments? <laughs> Yo, I told all three of the house guests before I left. I said, whoever wins the final competition has my vote. So I was prepared to vote for whoever won because I thought, and I respected all other gameplays. Like, you know, like Bray had the odds stacked against him all season. We kept taking out his allies. We kept taking out everybody he was close to. Just like one after the other. So, and he survived. It was on his social game. Social game is a huge part of Big Brother. It ain't just about competitions. It ain't about alliances. It's about who do you respect and who do you love? Yeah, we got one from Huntington Beach, California. Yeah, Huntington Beach, California. Shout out you. Hopefully you enjoy your merch. Yeah. See a Beth and keep up? Yeah, that probably ain't coming. <laughs> Beth is chilling. She's living her good life. Uh, I respect and love that. Okay. Keep her as kin. No, nope. just a regular dude. <laughs> That's all it is. I did get some champagne to celebrate, but I'm going to have to pop that after dinner. We got to do it. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I don't understand how Bray doesn't get credit. He won down the line. His social game is great. Like honestly, I have nothing but good things to say about Bray. Uh, the way that he could interact with people after he knew that they were talking smack about him was nuts. Uh, like after Beth was telling me that she wanted him, Bray and Ty to volunteer to go up on the block, I went to Bray right away. And like when I was working with Brayden and Tara, like. Bray was like, I was like, damn, I wish I teamed up with Bray a lot longer. Yes, hashtag 5K to Bray. I might start a GoFundMe on my website, keepitreal.ca, and we'll get that 5K to Bray somehow. <laughs> I love that. Bray also came up with the name for trap, the trap door. Like, yo, that is legend status right there. He could be one of, like, in my eyes, he's, he was the, the second best player. He came second. How can I not say that? Terry's third. I was fourth. That's all there is to it. I'm going to go in top four. Ty, 
Ty's in Dubai living his life, all right? And we're going to leave Ty alone. And Bray's okay. He got 20K. 20K is a lot different than 10. That's twice as much as I, than I got. You know? That's a lot. Yo, I'm wondering if I should go live with one of you guys, huh? Who wants to come on? Who wants to ask some questions and go live? Anybody? Anybody want to go live? Send a request. Okay. Do I agree with the statement that Josh started the game? Mm. Hmm. Do I agree with the statement Josh started the game? I mean, to me, the game started day one. So, I don't know. Stan for right now. Yeah, Stan for Bray. I'm a Bray Stan. I'll tell you that. Uh, yeah, in my pitch to Tara, like, I don't know what they showed. But I knew she wasn't going to keep me from when Tara won the power of veto. I knew she wasn't. Okay? So, yeah, I told her I had the votes to win. She knew I had the votes to win. She knew that Tina would vote for me over her if I made it to the final two with her. Like, she knew. Everybody knew. Ty knew. Uh, Brayden knew. I knew. Nobody was going to take me to final two. Nobody. Maybe, Bray. Maybe. But most likely not. Most likely not. That's a 95% chance he doesn't. Maybe 98. Maybe 98. I don't know. Uh, favorite Jays player currently or of all time? Uh, I have always been outgoing, but extroverted is a strong statement because I've also been introverted. I like to just stay home and chill. Oh, yeah, people were requesting to come live. Who we got? I don't see any. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it, that pitch wasn't like my final pitch. Uh, it was just like a conversation. So, I don't know. How did uh, you bring our culture into the game, values and ethic-wise? Uh, you know, honestly, I just tried to be myself. Uh, I tried to be my authentic me. And I think that's what I, I, I just, I did. Um, yeah, I tried to speak my language. I tried to sing my songs. And it came across. I had no idea that it would have. If you win the lotto, you're giving me 100K, donate it to charity. Donate it. Give it to somebody who really needs it. I'm okay. Life is good for me right now. Go order a sweater off the web website. Keep it real, .ca. I don't need the 100K. I'm going to live a blessed life. I'm going to work hard. I'm going to work very hard. How did I propose to Jericho? Good question. I got on one knee. I said, hey, lady, my sexy, sexy mama, will you marry me? She said yes. No, that wasn't it. Keep her the goat. Bah. You know this. Stan Jericho now. Yes, please. She held it down. She's the all-star. She's the real all-star. Giving me game advice before I'm leaving. Yeah, 100K worth of hoodies. I'll do that. I'll do that. Then give those away. <laughs> give those away. <laughs> I mean, it's tough to turn down 100K, but you know. I, I, I want to work for it. And if I wanted on Big Brother, I would have worked for it. That's all there is to it. Carol Smith, hello from Newfoundland. Hello. How much money did I get from Big Brother? I got 10 Gs. Another one from Newfoundland. Yo, what's good, Newfoundland? Yo, I'm coming up. I got to see George Street for myself. Tina's got a ring for me and my family, me and my whiny son. He's tired. We call this the witching hour. Because it's just like when he should nap, but we want to keep him awake. Because then he'll go to bed at a proper time instead of staying up super late. Yo, shout out to Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. 
Who wins in an arm wrestling match? Jed or Ty? Well, I'm pretty sure Jed already beat Ty. And some setters for life. Yes, loyal to the soil, loyal to the squad. Some setters for life. That's how it is. I'm the best. Thank you. Thank you. Go Leafs, go. Yes. How bomb was the Wendy's meal in the HOA room? The Wendy's meals were amazing. They were delicious. I would fight somebody hand-to-hand -hand combat right now for Wendy's. Right now. Would I win? Probably not. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm a lover here. I'm a lover. But I would. Sanctions, though. You have to have rules. None of this on the street shit. Halifax. Yo, I was supposed to go to Halifax, and then the pandemic happened. Oh, I was going to be there for like two weeks. I couldn't, couldn't wait. Canceling that flight to Halifax was... Oh, it was brutal. Frosty for every meal? Yes, a frosty for every meal. Are you kidding? That's what that's how it is. That is how it is. Would you go back and chosen for all stars and who would you want to go with you? If I got chosen to go back. It wouldn't matter who went with me, you know? I would just have to adapt and and see how I could survive in an all-star season. Um, I'd like to think that people wouldn't target me right off the hop, but I don't know. Were there any vegetarians in the house? Yes, there was two vegetarians, Josh and Brayden. Okay. All right. Uh Pop of beers. We're bringing you in, my guy. I sent you uh, the thing. Do I have any side effects from the vaccine? A little bit. My hey, hey, hey. Yo, what's good, my guy? Kiefer. How's what's it going, up? brother? Yo, William. Look who it is. Yo, hi, Will. What's up, dude? <laughs> yeah, it's Kiefer. <laughs> Yeah, keep it real. Keep it real. Keep it real. Yo, what is up? I'm happy we can connect. <laughs> we literally just finished season nine last night. So no. Happy you got the best, Man, best player. So I was so happy you got that best player. I was like, he has he has to get the best player. Like, come yeah. on. Yeah. I was cheesed though when you were gone, but Oh but, yo. Me yo, too, what, once once Ty won, I knew it was done. You were you had like I knew it was done. Like there's no way Tara was going. <laughs> yeah, no. There was no way to take Bray. Um, if I was in the final two, uh, obviously Bray wouldn't have been there. I would have took Ty. Like, oh it yeah, is what for it is. Sure. It, it is what it is. And yeah, um, we had to win out. Ty had to win out because all of us besides Brayden would have cut him, and I would have got cut if I didn't win. So that's just no like, exactly. Ty won, like, it, and, and Ty won. I out. saw your face when you didn't win the HO when you didn't win the HOH right there. I was like, yeah, he knows. Like I knew. at this point in the game, you know. You, know. you just you have a feeling there's nothing I could have said to Tara to make her change her mind after she won that POV. Yeah. She just and I think what really cheesed Tara was the fact that if I was in final two with her, she wouldn't even have Tina's vote. No. No. So like her number one would no. Vote yo, if you went to the finals, it would have been uh, unanimous. It, exactly. Yeah. Everybody Everyone in the house knew that. So I no, had but, to win, no matter who I, you were standing beside, you would have won. And I didn't win. You know, yeah. so it is what it is. Uh, but you I'm played gonna... a hell of a game, man. Every every single hey. episode. So I didn't what I I didn't watch it live. I wait till it's all done, and then I just watch now. I just finished. Probably took me three weeks, but I just now finished the whole season. But because I don't like waiting a week, you know, I like going yeah. to the next one, next one, next one. Binging, binging, binge. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah, man. It was hell of a season. Probably top top three for sure out of all of them. And every reaction, you're like, that every reaction that you do, I was like, every like, let's go, like, like that's me, bro. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, all right, that's good. I didn't even know I did that until like, yo, it, like, it, like every time I'm you got to the room, I'm like, that's yo. so me when I'm alone. Like, let's go, let's go. <laughs> yeah, pounding my chest, like, yeah, like, my chest pump. yeah, yeah. You gotta hype yourself up when you're in there. Nobody wants you to win. Nobody like, wants you to win. Exactly. My closest, like Ty, like everybody, all my closest Lions members, like I knew they didn't want me to win. Like no, exactly. And I, I'm a I'm a team guy. I need support. What's up, Will? <laughs> looking good. You are not looking a little odd, eh? <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, and like it's so weird to watch back. Like I got to the double of Vic, and I was done watching that. You know, like yeah, uh, I knew what was coming. And the back door, I didn't want to see myself like that. Uh, you know, I honestly door, thought you were I, at first. I thought you were gone before, but then they got you into the uh, back into the uh, Expedia room, or whatever, and said, "No, nah, we're we're keeping you. We're keeping you." Yeah, big I was mistake. actually pissed off because I thought you were already gone back then. But I'm like, and then they switched up and got rid of Tina. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's unfortunate. Like when I was on the block, like you know, you always sit by your your closest ally, and one of you's got to go. That's you don't like the sleep worst. well, eh? It's no, you good, don't. It's not good sleep. No, like they don't let you nap either. I know I wouldn't sleep well. No, you don't. You don't sleep at all. Uh, and you can't nap. They tell you when to go to bed, and they tell you when to wake up. Like, it's it's so hard, man. Like, just being yeah, out of your element. Sometimes the up. comps are hours, 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 hours long. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It. Yo, an Expedia, an Expedia comp? Like, uh, Bray was going, doing his probably like 2, 3 in the morning. We have no idea. Um, yeah. In the final POV of the season. I was lucky to be the first one to go because some people didn't go for three, four hours and we're all in separate rooms chilling there, sitting by ourselves. Like it's not big brother is not easy. That's why I have respect for everybody who did it. Like even like people always try to bring up, Oh, I hate, or I don't like, yo, I just, okay. I'm not messing with these people right now. That's fine. They're living their lives. I'm living mine. Like, no, it is exactly. what it is. Yeah. So it's all, it's, it's a, all it's a love at the end. Get in there. Yeah, it is. It, it truly is, man. Yeah. It truly is. But it was good connecting. I'm going to try to connect with another one. It's good to connect with you. Uh, for I'll sure, man. The, shoot me a message. I'll hit you with the follow back. Uh, oh, on, for uh, sure. Insta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to hit and, you up right uh, after this, man. Yeah, we got this, man. Thank you, sir. All right, yeah, brother. We, you and your family have a good one. You too. Take care. Oh, yo, that was dope. Those time comps are rigged for sure. No, they're not. The time comps are not rigged at all. Um, they're they're just hard. Nothing about Big Brother is easy. That's what people just don't get. It's hard, day in and day out being there. It's hard. Nothing is rigged. Trust me. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try this again, and hopefully it doesn't get uh, doesn't get wild. All right. Adding somebody, maybe. I don't know. Are the Leafs winning the series, potentially? Yo, what's good? Hey. How are you? How are you? Not bad. I'm just on the road right now. but. <laughs> I hope you're not driving. No. <laughs> All right, good. Because um, that, yeah. that would be dangerous and a bit yeah. irresponsible. Yeah. Um, what was the hardest comp you? Uh, the hardest comp was the very final veto that I played in. Uh, doing the escape room when I was like uh, the detective or whatever it was and then being the superhero in the rain like that rain was cold like, yeah, I bet. And, it's, and it's it came down heavy on you so it like weighed you down my boots were filling up with water and there was it was like so loud and there was smoke like it was wild I was trying to decode a laser like that was nuts <laughs> What's that? What was the funnest comp? Uh, funnest comp. Uh, it was probably it was, the, was yeah, it was the Expedia competition. Uh, <laughs> with the the puzzles and stuff. Yeah. Uh, finding the luggage and the slide stuff and all that. That was a lot of fun. I got to see my sister. Um, and for me, I knew that I wasn't gonna be a replacement nom for sure. So in that comp, I could just have fun and it was kind of stress free. Although we knew we were going up against Jed. Mm -hmm. And like, and that's the time where we were just like anybody but Jed. So we were hustling, uh, and I really had a fire to try to win that comp. But I messed my place names up. Oh, so yeah, it, yeah, it was what it was. <laughs> but I'm happy I came third, you know, because I last would have sucked. Sorry, Bray. <laughs> <laughs> but he, yeah, he did not have the place names right. Yeah, it's definitely nice having Indigenous representation on the show. Yeah, I was very surprised that I was the only one. <laughs> But I'm glad that there, I was there to represent, and I got this. And I didn't get evicted week two. You know, I won that veto. Yeah. And the rest was history. <laughs> yeah, me and my mom were rooting for you. We're just like, yeah, another native person on there. Like. Yeah, where are you from? Uh, Oneida in Ontario. Ontario. Wow. Yeah. Shout out. Cool <laughs> stuff. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's uh, yeah. I got asked it what it felt like to represent for the Haida, 
uh, that's that's the uh, nation that I'm from. I was like, I didn't just represent for the Haida. I represented for all indigenous people. Uh, I was put on that platform to represent. So yeah, it was beautiful to represent for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not driving, by the way. I see comments. I'm perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good i was just playing with you um but yeah no uh what's your name uh shelby shelby it's great to connect um yeah. i'm going to add you i'm going to follow you on insta shoot me a message it is what it is it's all up thank you for yeah, the thanks. support throughout the season and i'm going to try to connect with a couple more people before i end this off because i got to order food for dinner that's what so, i just did <laughs> oh awesome what are you having uh taco bell Hey, there it is. Yeah, I think I'm going to have some sushi. Okay, right. Shelby, thank you. All right. Bye. I have five, 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 five. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was a goner a lot, a lot of times on there. Like, I'm telling you, like, there was uh, so many times... I, I thought I was going to be out of the house and I just ended up staying thankful because um, maybe, you know, if I got evicted when Tina got a, uh, instead of Tina, maybe I wouldn't have won Canada's favorite. Maybe it would have been Bray. Maybe it would have been Spicy V. Like Spice, Spice has a hell of a good, good fan base, you know? So that's all it is. It was just about surviving and there. Uh, thriving never really happened. Uh, I always tried to remind the sunsetters uh, from my, like from when I had HOH. So we got, you know, and it's kind of a bad analogy, but I was like, we have rich people problems right now in Big Brother. We're deciding who goes. So I always tried to keep us humble like that. Like, like we don't have, like <laughs> on ball problems we have sunsetter problems where we're deciding who goes home right so it was great it was great all right who wants to go live i don't see any invites how come canada voted and had me i told them in the house that i would have won canada's vote and they didn't believe me are you kidding me none of them believe me i told there's a clip of tara telling I told Tara that I was going to win because I knew there wasn't even, a, that wasn't even a thing. And there was. So thankfully, very thankfully, created my website, keepitreal.ca. And yeah. Okay, Slay, Slay's coming in. Slay likely. I, think I accepted it. I did. Tapped you in, girl. Yo, what's good? Hi, Kiefer. I'm just in the office right now. Um, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm actually talking to you. you got um, any question? Well, that's good. I yeah, love the I'm hair. Gonna... Thank you. I'm the girl with the pink hair on my profile, but it's purple now. Um, yeah, I've been a big stand since the beginning on like Twitter, Facebook, Insta, just like so upset. <sighs> like you, you took us on a ride and it was amazing like I was going through a lot in my life and to be able to I kind of just like I really just immersed myself in the live feeds for the first time like I used to kind of dabble in them but I was mm -hmm. just like always like watching the sunsetters you know everyone else was just lame <laughs> so I want to thank you for you know I know I'm not the only one that has the story that you know w was going through a lot and was able to um really go on this journey with you and benefit so much from it. So thank you so much for that. Um, yeah. Uh, so I don't know if you, how much you're interested or going forward about your fans and what they might be interested in, but I'm really interested in the Haida culture. My sister's half native. Um, we don't have a connection with her family. So the second I found out that you were Haida, I was like, done. He's definitely my favorite. And then you just ended up being like the coolest guy ever. <laughs> um, so well, that's good to hear because you can only be yourself in there. Like I couldn't fake, I couldn't be fake, you know? So right. that's all, that's all it was. Right. I, well, I did hold my tongue a lot. That's not true. So I, I just held back a bit because usually, I, you know, because everybody would, I felt like we were all at the start, everybody was fighting for air. They were fighting to say something, fighting for a joke. And I just, I just can't do that. 
it's got to be like organic. I don't need to force anything. But yeah. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm talking to you right now. I'm like totally standing out. <laughs> um, it's all good. Do you feel, so I don't know a lot about your background before getting on the Big Brother House, but I've kind of seen some of your podcasts and um, some of your videos on Facebook. And I've noticed that you were really an icon or you were really like, a big a big deal before all of this in your community so do you find that there you have a bigger do you feel more pressure or do you find that you might have a bigger responsibility to uh, speak on important matters in your community especially now yeah that's a great question a hundred percent I do um, for indigenous people all across Canada whenever they get a platform such as myself we need to use it in a way to benefit and educate people because it's not happening in the school systems. It's not happening in the government and it's not happening enough on mainstream media. So it needs to be us. It needs to be the influencers. Um, there's added weight to all indigenous people uh, to do this because, you know, it's kind of like the squeaky wheel gets the grease type thing. And we just got to continue being the squeaky wheel and, and Right now, I think Indigenous people across Canada are fighting for equality. And when equality uh, feels like oppression, that's when you know you're extremely privileged. Because all we want is, is equality. And we also want our land back. And we want uh, land recognition, acknowledgement. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's so much added pressure. But I'm, I'm, I'm equal to the task for that. Um, right now, today is just about the website, uh, but in the future, uh, whenever I feel the need that my voice can help a situation or bring light to it, I'm definitely going to take that opportunity and use it. Not for financial gain, not for whatever it may be. Um, I'm just going to continue to be my authentic self and, and speak up for things that matter to me. Yeah. So there's going to be things coming down the line on the weekend and everything because this world is still turning. We're still so finding things but uh indigenous people we've always had uh, a way to band together in the hardest of times and i could see how we band together in good times as well uh just for the amount of support that i've been shown so i'm just i'm blessed to have that so i can't i can't just i just can't celebrate the whole time because there's so much work that needs to be done so much throughout, work. yeah throughout all communities throughout canada and if, if I can be a voice for that, because I'm not afraid to speak in the public, or because I'm not afraid to get educated on certain things, um, I will be that voice. And I'm game to. And yeah, the pressure, because if I mess up, you know, like whatever it may be, what if, what if I get in a fight or something? What if I disappoint people? Like that weighs on my mind so much now, because before it had been like, whatever. Now it's like, damn. Uh, I'm in trouble, <laughs> you know, True. but uh, I'm not too, too worried about that situation uh, unfolding, but, you know. Oh, yeah, I think it's more important that you actually are, are one of the people doing something versus worrying about, you know, making a slip up. We're all human, but a lot of people aren't really taking those steps and it, you are. So there will be criticism, but if you're not doing anything, then you probably shouldn't be saying anything about the people that are yeah you know 100 percent. okay well i look forward to talking to you more about that in the future or seeing your posts about that um i really like the way that La what what's the name of the host larissa arissa arissa i liked how she did a land acknowledgement at the beginning mm -hmm. and so you can see that there are some changes but it's not enough there's still so many problems in the medical field, in our medical system, it's horrible. You know, the way that the police are and with them just finding graves of residential children. And it seems like a lot of people are shocked in the comments and they didn't realize that that was a thing. So there's definitely a lot of education and, and things that need to change. But anyways, I know this is about your um, website today and I got my shirt last week from Yolanda. So awesome. Hey. I'm so happy you have your site up. Um, if you don't mind, I just wanted to ask about your engagement, maybe like where was it or anything about that? Cause that's super exciting. Yeah, it was. Okay. Yeah. Um, we were camping at a local camp spot here in our town and we just went for a little family walk uh, with some of Jericho's family as well. And I wanted to pick a good spot by the river close to home. Um, 
And yeah, I, I just asked the question. Uh, I had the ring in my pocket. I was very nervous. Um, I grabbed her wrong hand at first. <laughs> and he, I surprised her, which is tough to do. Uh, I told her next big nice. casino win and that I was going to propose. And winning Canada's favorite was a big enough win for, for me to make it happen. Totally. Uh, <laughs> so That's yeah, awesome. we're, we're excited. And yeah, life life is really good for me. So yeah, I'm pretty. Well, congratulations, I'm pretty... both of you. Thanks, Jericho, for holding down the fort and taking care of the young ones while uh, Kiefer was mm -hmm. off um, impressing Canada. And congrats on your website. I'll let you go. But um, we love you so much, Kiefer. We are huge stands. You have no idea. Like, I'm like literally getting teary eyed. We just love you. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate the support, holding it down, defending my name while I was in the house. Uh, for sure. I'm through, yeah, I'm getting through an a lot online fight for you. <laughs> yeah, that's how to go out to like that. Okay, thank you for the Voting support. Voting for you on the, on the uh, BB Can website like crazy. <laughs> yes, that's right. I, I, I love that. Uh, shoot me a message. I'm going to follow you on uh, Instagram. We'll stay connected. Okay, Kiefer, have a good one. You too. Bye. Bye. Uh, there is a wrong hand. You're supposed to grab the left hand? Yeah. Yeah, you're carrying. She was carrying my son. Uh, so there's that. Uh, second year university uh, education student, and I have to say, you inspire me. I like to decolonize classroom. So thank you for making me a better future teacher. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah, you got to grab the left hand, but she had my. She had our son. Yeah, holding uh, our son. So. She was looking a little hot, eh? Uh, Maddie, yes, I do remember you. Uh, I met you. I was wearing this shirt. And I met you uh, at Mount Elizabeth Secondary School. It was great to meet you, Maddie. But yeah, again, guys, just go check out the website. Um, it's... It's honestly dope. I'm I'm pretty honored to have it. So it is what it is, you know. <laughs> My kids call you keeper because you're their fate. No, I used to get called keeper um by Jericho's daughter Autumn because she couldn't say keeper. And I also got called keeper a lot because that's the position I played in soccer. I was the goalie. Because I don't run. But I was actually a pretty good goalie back in the day. Ask anybody. Anybody. Ask them. Ask them. Yeah, it was what it was. I appreciate everybody for sticking around. I know we ain't got crazy numbers, but you know what? I appreciate it all. It's all love. Uh, would I ever do the comedy night? Yeah, I would do a comedy night. I've done stand-up comedy a couple times. I got some jokes. I got some jokes. I'm better at roasting, as you guys might might tell. I've always had a particular uh, fondness to roasting people. I'm a big fan of Comedy Central roasts. Uh, yeah, yo, Thomas, what's good, my guy? Yeah, I did have uh, the best save of my life was on you, actually. So we got some facts in the chat right now, 100%. Roast night. No, I, I you know... I love roasting, but some people are just so sensitive. I held back in that roast. I could have roasted hard. You have no idea how hard I can roast. I'm a cook. I'm not a chef. I've never been trained, okay? Yeah, I can't believe they didn't show the roast. We thought for sure. But uh, maybe it was a bit too, like, vulgar. So, I don't know. Uh, yo, Keith, you ever come down to Vancouver? Yes, I go to Vancouver. I used to go there all the time. Uh, I plan to be frequenting Vancouver very soon when everything opens back up and life is good again. We just need to get vaccinated. We need to continue to wearing masks, follow the regulations, social distance, and stay safe. You know? You just memorized the BB Can raps today, <laughs> yo. Kill the competition, Graham Reaper. Graham Reaper. Okay, Keeper. 
Bray's winning more than this is feature. Yo, he won the feature and he won 20 G's. Facts. Get the boys together down here. Yeah, it's going to happen. It's going to happen to you, Tom, for sure. Bachelor party is definitely not going to be happening in Van. It's going to be going down here in Terrace. That's for sure. Why is the wedding? The wedding is going to be next year. Yeah, I heard Manitoba is getting hit. Prayers to Manitoba, yo. Like, let's let's figure this out. Like, there's there's ways of, ways to get this. Yo, I can't wait till the all native is back up. I will never miss an all native as long as I live. Like, I'm ready to go. I need to call some basketball games soon and now. Yeah, hearts for Manitoba guys. Like, I don't know what we can do uh, to help them, but. Man, we need to make it out of this pandemic. We need to travel. We need to hug. We need to love. Like, it's it, that's just all there's got to be. Roast you, roast you, Don? Nah, not roasting nobody right now. It'll get clipped. It'll get taken out of context. Uh, Bucks or Nets? Ooh. I mean, who do I think is going to win or who do I want to win? Because I would want the Bucks to win and I would want the Nets to lose. But I think the Nets would win over the Bucks. Uh, yeah, once Canada is seventy percent vaccinated, we we'll continue to social distance. We figure it all out. We're gonna get it done, okay? Thoughts on pineapple on pizza? I wasn't here for it, and then I had a really good Hawaiian one day when I was hungry, and it was good. It was delicious. <laughs> oh, I got a question. I just see. How do I tell when they were asked? Who's winning the Stanley Cup? Uh, hmm. I mean, let's go Leafs. They got to put out the Habs right now, but I'm going with the Leafs. Yes, sir. Yeah, the Heat. The Heat ain't doing so hot. Yeah, uh, the website is up right now. Keepitreal.ca. We get her done. Go Habs. Yeah, go Habs. Whoever. Go Leafs, go Habs. Go Jets. Anybody Canadian. That's what I want, okay? There, I said it. Any Canadian team can win the cup, and I will celebrate. Like, that's just how it is. You got to go for the country, right? Yeah, the Bucks are dangerous right now, yo. Dangerous. Yeah, Tom, go sports. I'm in for it. I'm with it. I'm with the sports. Guys, I might end this live pretty soon. I've been loving and appreciating everything. Can we see your audition video for BB? I don't know where it is. I don't know if they posted it. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But, uh, yeah, can I sing you something? Mm, probably not. <laughs> I'm not a good singer. Like, I just, you, you sing in the shower. It is what it is, you know? Hi from Arizona. Yo, shout out to Arizona. I want to visit Arizona very badly. I've heard amazing things. All right. Uh, you karaoke around, Grace. You know I karaoke around. I love to sing, but I'm not a great singer. Okay? I can carry a tune. Also, I'm a better rapper than I am a singer. Uh... You guys want me to bring somebody else on? Yeah, it isn't about being good, Grace. It's about being yourself. Oh, no, it's, no, it's the first concert I ever went to. I can't trust that. I, I ain't about to freestyle for you. That's like a 2 a.m., 27 drinks deep type of thing, you know, with no cameras around, all right? There's also some footage uh, freestyle rap with the homies, not you know, the Res Kids before. It's out there on the internet somewhere. 
Y'all can find it. If you look hard enough. What are you at, by <laughs> Best kind. All right, you guys, send the request. I'll, I'll go live with somebody, and then we're going to have to end this pretty soon. Because I'm getting a bit hungry, eh? Head on over to the website, eh? Clash of the Clans. Yo, I'm in that music video. No, I don't see... I... Okay, uh, let's try. Natasha Lynn Walton. I sent a request. I don't know how it works. Boomer. What's hey. good? Yo, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, I can't complain. Where, you, where are you at right now? It looks dark. I'm in New Brunswick, so it's like New- almost nine o'clock. <laughs> yeah. New Brunswick? Yeah. Yo, that's crazy. I'm the one that they wanted you to block in the comments, by the way. No, I don't block people. (laughs) Unless they, wow. Yeah. Because I only have love for everybody. (laughs) Yeah, same here. Same here. Um, It's all love. I definitely will be purchasing some of your merch. That is awesome. I love, I absolutely adore the Native culture so much. Awesome. There Um, you go. It's, I just find it so beautiful. <laughs> it is. It is. All cultures are beautiful. That's the thing. It's just like uh, culture is identity. And when you find your identity and you can be your true self, that's, that's beautiful right there. And cultures evolve and they change. And people evolve and change too with the culture. So there's a culture of loving reality TV. And that's beautiful. There's a culture of being an outdoors person. That's beautiful. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So it's all, it's all, culture is just relative. It's just a, it's just a, it's a made up word that we associate feelings to. So yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I actually can't believe I'm talking to you. <laughs> What's good? You got any questions? Anything you've ever been wondering about the BB house or did you watch? Do you, you guys don't know what time it is, eh? At all? No. We have That's a, crazy. We had like a little bit of a like hint of what time it was with the oven. Um, it had a clock on it, but it was wrong all the time. So we had no idea. Like we could kind of guess, but and you and you guys can't wear like brand name clothing either, right? Is no, that a no, thing br- too? No, br- yeah, no brand names. We couldn't sing songs. Couldn't talk about brand names. It was, uh, huh. it was wild. That's pretty cool though. <laughs> And, yeah. like, no papers, pencils, nothing? <laughs> nothing. I wrote on a banana one time. You know, I could, like, nail into a banana. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they got mad at me, you know? So you can't do that either. No writing, no nothing. We couldn't even, like, uh, when we were playing pool, we had no pool chalk. We never chalked the pools once. They were dry ass. Dry ass. Probably made pools. it difficult to play pool. <laughs> it was. It was. But I was the best pool player in the house. Is there anyone you regret not working with sooner yeah it would have to be Brayden I wish that I had a great social game with Bray um uh but like myself I underestimated uh, the strength in his game early on and I didn't really realize his strength until later into the game and I could see it with my own eyes his ability to adapt his ability to kind of like you know he just took shit and he didn't mind it and I was he amazed just, that he moved he... forward with it that he was on the block so many times with not one vote casted against him. Oh at yeah, all. I'm, like, I'm honestly that doesn't that doesn't surprise me. Uh, he when, played an amazing social game. Hundred percent. There was a flip that tried to happen uh, in the Invisible Hoh to to vote out Braden instead of Austin, and I was like, "There's no way." I was like, "I will be the one vote who doesn't vote to cast against Braden." Like, I'm not voting Braden out. Like, that's all there is to it. Because first off, I was defender for life, and Bray was defender. And I knew Bray never would have put me up on the block in a million years. And Austin, there was still a slight chance that I might be a replacement nominee. I didn't think I would be the nominee that would go yeah. up first, but as a replacement, I was an option. So that was my reasoning for it as well. 
but yeah, it would have been Bray. I, I wish I worked with Bray a lot sooner. But of course, he was tight with Austin. Um, I knew <laughs> I knew he was working with Rohan. Like, it was what it was. A lot of people in the house couldn't see it. I could see it. Uh, everybody could. I, I was like, yeah, they're definitely working together. And they denied it. And I'm just like, <laughs> you could deny it all you want. Like, I see you. I know. This season <laughs> was just so entertaining to watch. So entertaining. <laughs> yeah. It, oh, it was tough to live, honestly, though. <laughs> I bet it was. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, any final question? Because I'm going to have to end this live pretty soon here. It's almost 5 o'clock. Um, I've been live for what two was hours. It like, what was it like being part of the most diverse cast of the That's a good question. Canada? Uh, it was an honor. Um, you know, kind of unfortunately, I was the only Indigenous person uh, on Big Brother. But at least I was there. And I was able to represent. Yes. And the further and further I got in this game, I knew it would be more impactful and more powerful as opposed to going home week two, three, or, you know, when did Jed put me up? Week seven. So, like, yeah, it was it was, it was was an honor. And to be able to come out to such the reception that I did, um, yeah, I was I was pretty blessed. And I was, I was very lucky. You guys all um, did such an amazing job. All, <laughs> all of you. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Yeah, no, it was, it was, let me tell you, it was a wild, wild ride. Like, I'm glad. I laughed you. and cried and yelled at the TV so much, so much. That's what I'm, I'm hearing a ton of people did stuff like that. So <laughs> it, it was what it was. Um, but uh, Natasha, uh, shoot me a message. I'll follow you back on Instagram for sure. It was great to connect. Thank you. <laughs> you have a great rest of your night. Bye. <laughs> That was cool. Um, almost time to go off into the sunset. That's right. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely, it's definitely almost time uh, to go off into the sunset. Well, let me tell you, core four best Canadian alliance ever. Nah, yo, the best Big Brother alliance ever. Pretty boys, tell me it's not. See, if I, okay, say I made it to final two with Ty and I won. Sunsetter is best ever, hands down. Even though we kind of imploded and took each other out, Ty and I were still Sunsetters at the end of the day. But how could we argue Dane won, Anthony came third, and they had to get rid of Adam because he was going to win the game, right? Like, they, Adam would have won. They had to get rid of him. That's all, that's, that's all there is to it. What did my father say when he came home? He just told me that he was proud of me. And he was glad that that, that, the, that journey that I was on was, was over. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, Pretty Boys was the best. Dane, best player ever? Why not? He won. Um, I mean, Kevin Martin won an all-star season, so I would put Kevin Martin right up there. I would also put Ica right up there like that's all there is to it yeah th thank you guys for sticking around um it's been it's been great i might come back on live to pop some champagne with you tonight after all the orders are are in and we got a number you know what i'm saying you guys want to pop some champagne tonight how happy was i to see my kids again uh oh I, you can't even explain the relief it was to to just see them and hug them and smell them and love them. Yeah. Oh, Spicy V. Yeah, of course, Spice. The champagne you're in. I got a really nice bottle, too. It's actually champagne, you know? So that was... That was dope. Oh, Vic, you want to come on for a minute or not? Say what's up to your fans. We got 67 people watching. At least 66 of them are Spice EV fans. I'm telling you. I told you, you've seen, my good, you've seen my goodbye message now, V. You've seen it now, didn't you? It was good, right? I think it was good. I was emotional. I was hella emotional. I'm telling you, I was emotional.
Let's see. <laughs> Real spice. <laughs> oh, hey. oh, no way. <laughs> okay. Spice? What's going okay. on? Drop the pin. Just Josh. Yo, drop the pin. I'm in Niagara Falls. What? Yes. You know Niagara Falls? Can you see Falls? the waterfall? Yeah. Yeah. Can, can you see it? Yeah. Yo, yes. no way. Oh, Stan Tara is here. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, so I'm just here with my man. We're having some drinks and just, you know, keeping a low profile today. Hell yeah. That's yes. Been, how's it been for you? You've been getting recognized, I bet. Come on. Yes, totally. I totally get recognized in Hamilton. It's hilarious. I love it. <laughs> Hamilton has you. You knew, you knew. Yo, everywhere I go. Well, okay, live. Okay, we're getting some viewers again because Spice is <laughs> Yo, okay. Okay. Uh, Instagram. I came home and I was like, I asked my kids, I said, who's your, who was your favorite uh, Big Brother player? I expected them to say me. <laughs> and they didn't. They're like, Victoria. They said Victoria was their favorite. I was like, oh, no. I was like, he's got to hear this. Yes. Yeah. So, I was yeah. But I was about. I love that. <laughs> that was so much fun i literally just went into that show and i was just my damn self i just popped off i don't know if you were watching earlier but i was giving you guys like you were the best player in the house i'll say oh. someone blue in the face you're dangerous it is what it is um yes uh stan spicy v in the comments let's see those chili peppers down there all right hey, go follow the chili peppers it's there friday it is. night <laughs> here yeah that's right uh, yeah it's, only, it's yeah. only five here we, we look into uh yo i've been wondering where uh the tara is queen stan account has been you see that one all the time in the comments yes yes i love her i love all of her comments i find them absolutely hilarious there's like, so yeah. many good ones i love it <laughs> oh what my God. What yo, your hair's so curly. <laughs> it's always been like this. Damn, the curls, yo, the, like the happiness are in the curls right now. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, life is good. Oh, man, V, what oh a trip, Oh, my God, huh? I freaking miss you, Keeper. I miss you, too. I miss cooking for you. I had a quesadilla the other day. Oh, <laughs> did you put a yeah. little onion in there? <laughs> no, I did not. I put some tomatoes and cilantro in there, but yeah. It was just it. like a quick thing. I was like, oh, I'm hungry. I need to eat, but I need to go. I was like, what could I have? And I was like, oh, quesadilla. I love it. I love it. Keeping it alive. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. <sighs> so what is going on? So is your, is your website live? Is it going? Yo, the website is live. Uh, yo, did you see what I put on the, the homepage? It, I'm it's okay. It, it's okay. No, it's not. It's not. It's just. It's funny. Okay, let me see if I can show you. Just rip everything. Out. Okay, here. Okay, let's see. You can see this. Okay, it's on the home page. That's amazing. <laughs> Look, there, oh, who's that? Oh, say, yo, say it on the front page. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Then, if you're looking a little loud, eh? Get some keep it real swag, eh? Yo, I'm literally traumatized from the word oddballs. Like, I literally... Uh, no. Is there a freaking, like, gif? I saw you put it on the thing today. Like, it literally was, like, sparkling. And I'm like, what the hell? Where did he find that? I just started an oddball. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> did, I, did you watch the whole season? No, fuck no. No, I'm not watching. I I'm couldn't. Watching. I couldn't I either. Couldn't. I watched some as soon as I saw all you guys talking shit about me at the kitchen table. Being like, she's not <laughs> I didn't say nothing. Like, <laughs> I didn't say I was sitting there. Like, I know, right? Your eyes, you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> Yo, that shit's tough to watch. Yo, it's so tough to watch. I'm sitting there cringing hard. Also... It was pretty great to watch. Some parts were pretty great. I know some parts were pretty freaking awesome. Yeah. Like, yeah. It was, like, <laughs> during my HOH, I, that was my favorite three episodes I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, uh, but, uh, the HOH okay. ones are the good ones. The good ones of yourself. Yeah. After that, it's all down. <laughs> it's all yeah. down. Yeah. 
I was Even laughing. I was talking it. to Jed the other day, and he was telling me that he hasn't watched much either. But he watched like the part where I like kind of forced his hand not to use the power of veto, like on Latoya. Mm -hmm. And it was funny because like I ran up to the H O H room and started dancing, and he told me that he watched that, and it like broke his heart. I was like, no! <laughs> He's like, think I had to turn it off the way you were jumping up and down in the H O H room. I was like. Ah! Yo, Jenna's got the biggest and softest heart around. Everyone thinks he's like the Terminator. No, Jed's a big softy, man. Yo, that man is pure as fuck. He is. I got nothing bad. To he's the most pure human being I've ever met in my life. We ain't saying anything Yo. bad about Jed. He's loyal to the soil. Right. Loyal to the soil is coming. I yeah, love it. That's hilarious. Yo, I wonder who's running this Tara is Queen account. Like, send us a selfie. I got to know. Yeah, like, <laughs> right. We need a face behind like content. I say she, but it might, might not even be she. They are Thank dedicated. You for yeah, yo, Tara is queen. Whoever runs this account is queen. We see yes, you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> why don't? Why is there no Kiefer is king accounts like that? Yo, you know? trust me. Where, yo. where the heck is Queen Spicy? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, we we got some good ones out there. We we got some. Yeah, we got some real ones out there. It's so dope. I know. I see my, yo. like, face as someone's profile pic, and I'm like, oh, shit. I, yo, I don't have many of those, but my face don't look too good in that little round <laughs> circle. <laughs> so we chilling. No, it's all good. Oh, we got her to say something that wasn't terror related She said, much love. That's oh, <laughs> look at that. Yo, Terror's queen, follow me. Follow me. Up. I want to follow back. I got to follow back. When is oh, V coming God. to Haida Gwaii? Hopefully sooner rather than later, right? Say less. I know. I'm obviously coming for your wedding, but that's like mm -hmm. so far. I feel like that's too far. It's so I have to come. Away, yeah. yeah, exactly. Like I have to come before that. Is, is the basketball tournaments going down? Like these are things I won't miss. <laughs> you just <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, is that in the background? What? Who's in the background? Oh, it's Matt. Matt's here. Yeah, <laughs> what's good, big dog? How's it going? Congrats on the Pretty engagement. Pretty good, bro. Thank you. Yeah, life is good. <laughs> you better be Spicy V's plus one. Yo, yeah, he's you coming. <laughs> yeah, H, H, needs you. Be a good place to propose. I'll be that. I'll well. be that. No pressure. He's, he'll come contain me. He'll come awesome. contain me. Me because when I block out, you know it's good. <laughs> Yo, uh, everybody's invited. Uh, I see comments asking who's gonna be invited. Everybody, that's how uh, indigenous weddings are. I'm not sending out invitations, I'm just gonna tell you when it is. Yo, I'm coming. And you already gave come. me my invitation. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> but this is my invitation. Have... Everybody, yes. screen record this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna uninvite you. Yo. <laughs> I'm invited. <laughs> uh, Jericho is going to be a beautiful bride. Mm -hmm, I know this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We just picked the date. Can't really say on the live yet. Have we got to book some things and we want to see like Smart. how the pandemic kind of plays out. Hopefully like everything opens up because that might change venues and blah, blah, blah. So mm, Yes, yes, I yes. Did. Smart. Very smart. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know me thinking 10 moves ahead. I know. Uh, yeah, dead ass. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> That's literally just who you are, eh? It's just part of who you damn are. You're such a good game. I was, I was even thinking, like, just the other day, how crazy it was that you survived that back door. Like, how? Like, that's legendary shit. Yeah, I'm learning. I heard that there's me, uh, Dan Giesling, uh, from his funeral. Uh, and then there's one other person in North America who has survived the back door. And I'm one of the three. Like, it's, yeah. it's wild. I did not know that. Like, yeah. Like, I'm safe. Thank you. <laughs> like, you put yo, that blood on your hands. Like, you put that person up. You made that move. Like, you need to, like, you got to stick with that shit. Yeah, you do. Because obviously, we trapped our dread the next week. So, it's like, <laughs> I, did <not> for, <laughs> I did not forgive and Trap forget. Door. That's yeah. fucked. Trap but door. it's all, it's all, it's like, you know, once we were in Jerry, we were vibing. It was all good. Of course, there's still some saltiness about the game, but like, the further oh, we get is. removed, the, the less we'll be salty, I think. Because it yeah. is, it's like a crazy bond that we have, Spice. Like, we really did that shit. Like, 
yo, I lived with you for 41 days straight, no days <laughs> off. Like, <laughs> you live with me. I know, and I'm not, I'm not someone who just, you know, you know I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we all thought that you were keeping your days while you were folding laundry. And, yo, I'm telling you. Hey, no! Yeah, I do that. It. Do that when you go back for All Stars. Huh? So shush. Yeah. My <laughs> guess is I hope they're the All Stars. Because if I'm not on it, I would love to watch. Because then I'd have people to cheer for from season, uh, from our season, you know? Yeah. All Stars would be so lit. <laughs> it would be scary. I would be I scared. <laughs> it would be so. It would be something, yo. I'd be nervous because our, our game is so fresh in everybody's mind. Wouldn't that make us big targets? Yeah, they'd be like, yo, you, you fucking, you do, you're too good, yo. You survived that back door. You manipulated the trap door. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, can we, favorite, up this, oh shit. can we clear up, like, I've seen all this shit on uh, Twitter and everything about me controlling, like, the jury. Like, you asked me who I was voting for, and I said, Tashaun. And yeah. People, people took that as me telling you to vote for Tashaun. That was outrageous. I, Someone I asked me that, that on one yeah. of my interviews, and I was like, what the hell kind of question is that? I was like, hell to the no. Like, that is not, yeah. like, that is false news. I don't, I don't want to live in, like, I, I, I swung the whole jury. No. Like, yeah, yeah I definitely no. brought a light to, to Sean's game that the previous two jurors didn't, obviously, because I wasn't hella bitter at Deshaun at the time. Um, but Deshaun won out, you know? That's all. <laughs> it was a, almost a unanimous vote, but there was just one bitter juror that Deshaun just evicted that didn't vote for him. That's all there is to it. Mm -hmm. that's it yeah the, the wound is fresh you know and you like the wound is the there's yo Tashaun evicts me in the final three situation uh I ain't voting for his ass I'm sorry that's too <laughs> fresh that's like 20 minutes after he evicts you then you gotta try to give the man a hundred thousand dollars I know thanks for evicting me here you go okay. yeah here, here's my vote no th yeah, I never would have but I, I thankfully I didn't have to do that I, I went out of, you know when I did but yeah anyways yeah, but, yo i say yo, I, I love your game you literally got it all like literally everything like perfect well fourth place yeah but yeah no it was it's so weird to like reflect and like i see people criticizing like season nine's like gameplay for being sloppy like how is it sloppy like how is it bad like you can only compare it to the 14 people that were in there you can't compare it to a different season we were on teams we had an invisible HOH. We had a fake double. Like, how do we navigate through all of that and keep it not messy? They set us up. <laughs> we got set up. <laughs> they set us up. Yeah, they set everyone up for a good season. Like, what they was that? They set us up big. Yeah, they, like, it's... messy is good. Messy is fucking what yeah. I want to do. That's what I'm hearing. I was like, yo, uh, I didn't get recognized in the Toronto airport, but once I touched down in Vancouver, it was a little bit overwhelming. Mad people were coming up to me while I'm eating, like, and I was so, like, freaked out about COVID because, you know, we didn't know anything. We literally knew nothing. I didn't know, what? like, what the state of the world was. And they were just, like, everyone, and, like, people were just, like, yo, like, it was in, you know, everyone was, like, I spitting games. But they're, like, yo, they're, like, yo, Keith, you should have did this. You should have did that. I'm, like, oh. what do you mean I should have did this? Like, as soon as I lost the POV, I knew my ass was grass. Like, that's all there is to it. I knew I was done. Like, stick a fork in me. Like, what can I do? Cry some more? I'm, I, was dry. <laughs> I was dried up. <laughs> Stop. You gave all you could. Oh, my God. I'm crying. That looks so funny. <laughs> oh, my God. I went, I went to the LCBO, like, our liquor store here. I was with Ro. And we got recognized in there. It was so funny. Like, that's it was hilarious. Just like, yeah, and, like, Every time I get recognized, they always call me Spicy V. Like, it's never Victoria. <laughs> it's always Spicy V. <laughs> That's dope. That's dope. Yeah, I get people yelling, keep it real at me. All the well, I'm, in real? Small, I'm in a small town, right? Like, it's everywhere I go right now. There's still keep it real posters hanging up in businesses and stuff. Like, I, I know. There's a burger named after me at this local spot. <laughs> it's so good. It's delicious. A burger? Yeah, it's a fried salmon burger, and holy, it's so good. And it's That's on their man menu shit. permanently. Like, you can order it online and get it delivered, and it says the hashtag, keep it real salmon burger. It's just Oh, like, my gosh. That's one That's of my most so like, 
crowning accomplishments. What are you up to? <laughs> okay. Is that cash? Yeah. Yeah, These buddy. <laughs> They're just going to go for a drive to pick up spring rolls. <laughs> oh, shit. And some spring rolls. Yeah. Hey, okay, did you? Oh, hold on a second. Okay. <laughs> hey, guys. What's up? What's everyone yeah. getting up to tonight? Where's my tonight? Okay. <sighs> my dog almost ah. escaped. Oh, stop. Christopher. Oh, my God. Okay, well, it was good chatting. Your girl, yes, we're going to get you. some I'm dessert. Yes, Spice, much love to you, your fans, your fam. I seen you drop the sticker collection. I'm going to be ordering a bunch. My girl's going to be needing that. Yo, 100%. I'm copping at least five or six just for this first round of ordering. Um, yes. My, my girls are huge Spicy V fans. <laughs> Everywhere I go, whenever somebody brings up Spicy V, I'm going to pull out one of your stickers. I'll be like, here, here's some of her merch. I love it. Yeah, Yo, for sure. Hey, you know this. Yes. Enjoy Niagara. Get lit. Have Thank fun you. and live life. Yes. We're and doing get more merch, Spice. The people want it. I'm oh telling them they God. want it. Give the people what they want. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna end I'm gonna end my live too. Okay. It's been good. Bye. Bye everybody. <laughs>